We're working on part 14 of the practice exam. For the recurrence from the previous problem, assuming that fin runs in O of i log n time, give but do not solve a recurrence tmn for the time it takes to compute dmn without memoization, including all appropriate cases. OK, so we're looking at a naive implementation of the recurrence up here. <clears throat> And we are analyzing how long it runs, given that we know a bound on how long f runs. Since it's a big O bound, we're clearly going to have to give a big O bound on the runtime of the whole recurrence, because we're, we're going to be running this as an element of the overall recurrence, which means we can't give anything better than a big O bound. We don't know anything lower bounding the runtime of fin, except that it runs in at least constant time. So we can pretty much copy this recurrence as a starting point, and then we'll go in and we'll annotate times. So I'm going to do my best to copy this. I wish I'd set it up so I could fit it all on one page. So t of m comma n is going to be equal to, and initially here I'm just going to write in the original recurrence, so I remind myself that this is not the new recurrence. In fact, I'm going to highlight my blanks here. And we'll go back and erase the highlighting once we know that we've switched this over. So 0 when i is less than 1, or I can't remember what the other condition was. d of, oh, I guess I can read it off of my code up above. So, or n was less than i. And d of i minus 1 comma n minus 1 times d of i minus 2 comma n minus i plus f of i comma n otherwise. And I'll go ahead and highlight that because I may need to fix that. There we go. Now, how do I convert this into what I want? Well, how long does it take to just return 0 at the top here? That just takes constant time. So that's actually a really easy fix. I'm going to change this to 1. If you want to change it to C for some constant, that is completely fine. Now down at the bottom, do not be fooled. It is really tempting to go down here and be like, oh, this is all so easy. I'm just going to replace this D and this D with T's, T, T. And uh, M, uh, I became M and n just became n. So wherever I see an i, I'm just going to replace it with m, m, m. And then I'm going to go in o f. I was told f runs in o of i log n time, so that's going to be m n time here. So I'm just going to replace this with o of m log n. And I'm going to say, oh, I'm done. Do not say this, because you are multiplying runtimes here. Did the previous algorithm really do something that would require multiplying these runtimes? Like, um, it, it did this thing this many times? No, the previous algorithm just multiplied two things. It takes one step in our model of computation that we're using right now to multiply two things. Even in a richer model of computation, where we take into account the size of the things we're multiplying, it does not take this many steps. It takes a number of steps that is proportional to some function of the sizes of the two values. But it has nothing to do with how long it takes to compute the values. Okay, so these things should not be multiplied together. Multiplication is wrong here. The number of steps is actually the number of steps to compute the thing on the left, the number of steps to compute the thing on the right. I'm just going to rewrite the m's, by the way, because it was looking ugly to me. Plus one, right? One step for the multiplication. Well, you know, we're already spending plenty of time. We don't need to put the plus one in here. And this is a good bound. Except that that wasn't actually n minus 1, was it? I'm sorry. Uh, this this right here is not actually n minus 1. Gah. If I look back above, it is n minus i. Um, and since we are using m rather than i, this should be n minus m. There we go. 
So here's a recurrence. We haven't solved it, but we have correctly laid it out. We just renamed our I's M's. We renamed our D's T's, but that wasn't exactly a renaming. It was just pointing out that the computation of D for those parameters takes this much time. And then that multiplication only took one step. So we removed it and we just added the times together. But if you really wanted, you could add like plus one on the end or plus C or plus D for some other constant.